Hi everyone, my name is Francesca Ferrando. I teach philosophy here at NYU, Program of Liberal Studies. And I am very honored to be with you in this amazing journey of how to write a paper, specifically how to write a good paper. In this mini course, there are six videos and six exercises. This is the fourth exercise is connected to the fourth video about the question of when. When is the location of our journey in, for instance, the history of philosophy? Where are we located our argument? Is that, for instance, contemporary philosophy? Is that modern philosophy? Or is that ancient philosophy? Uh, this can apply to any discipline, can be biology, can be technology, or anything like that. So the question here that I want you to really address for this exercise is, where are my roots? Where are my roots? Specifically for a short paper, for instance, of 2,500 to 3,000 words, you need at least three sources that you are going to be relying upon. Doesn't mean that you agree with these authors, but you need to be in dialogue with at least three sources. For instance, in our case, we've been bringing the example of a paper writing about the philosophy of technology. One route could be, for instance, Nietzsche. The other one could be Haraway, and the other one could be uh, Heidegger. Uh, so you need at least three sources. Um, apart from this uh, exercise, so I want you to take your journal out, and I want you to be writing either with your pen or on your laptop or on your phone. Write down your sources. I would say no less than three and no more than five for a short paper. If you're writing a book, that is different. But even if you're writing a book, you should be considering still that you need to have a clear, very clear understanding of where you're locating your discourse, your argument. So make sure that you locate your discourse in the big river of the discipline of which you are part of. And here I have a second exercise connected to quoting. I have noticed in my career that a lot of students do not know how to quote. So this is fundamental. I want everyone to do this. You're going to have uh, uh, half a page. You're going to choose one quote that you really love. For instance, the quote of Tignatan that changed your life or something like that, a quote that you really care about. I want you to write a paragraph in which you are introducing the quote and the author don't ever give it for granted that people know that author. Most people will not know who you're talking about. And don't think of your, your professor as the one who is going to be reading your paper. Think of a much more of a general audience. So before quoting, introduce your quote and the author of the quote. After that, you're going to have a short quote, no more than, let's say, three lines, no more than that. We don't want very long quotes here, as we explained in our, in our video. And after that, you want, after quoting, you want to comment on the quote. Why are you quoting this specific author? Why are you choosing this specific quote? Remember, as we mentioned in our video, quotes are gifts. Make sure not to throw a quote without introducing it. It's like a birthday party, say, happy birthday. You're introducing the quote, then you are adding the quote, not too long, because that is not a gift, it's too much. And then before you depart, you're going to say, for instance, if someone gave you a gift, you're going to say, thank you so much for the gift. The same here, after quoting, don't jump to the next topic. Make sure to express and to explain why the quote is there. Connect to your paper, make it relevant, and make it the gift that it is. So thank you so much, everyone, for uh, listening. We are going to go from here to the next exercise. Thank you so much.